on a scale of killers from one to ten, do you think you're one of the best of all time? I rate myself as uh, probably n number one. So that's pretty damn good, isn't it? That's pretty good, yeah. Kid or an angry kid? I was an angry kid having a hard time in school. The impact it had on him to be a kid who had limited intellectual abilities and the humiliation that he felt created a great deal of rage in him. Everyone in the neighborhood knew that Gary had a reputation of abusing animals. He had a BB gun that he would shoot. He was testing to see what he could get away with. When I was growing up, living next door to the Ridgeway family, I felt like I had a front row seat to what went on over there because my bedroom window faced their house. So if I was in my room, I heard a stereo effect of what went on over there. I never stepped foot in that house, and I didn't want to. There's evil right next door. Gary talked about how he was kind of the outlier in terms of the family, how he did in school compared to his siblings. My mom and dad talked about putting me in that, uh, uh, school. Now you're crying as you remember that. Why are you crying? because I didn't want to go. <laughs> All three of the Ridgeway boys were fairly athletic. The oldest brother, Gregory, was very tall, more like a basketball player, track star, athlete. Gary was short and stocky, more of a wrestler type guy. I know psychiatrists are always interested in talking to people about their mothers. Now, what can you tell me about your relationship with your mother that will help me understand why you would kill dozens of prostitutes? My dad wasn't around that much. He was working all the time, and she was trying to get me to do better in school and speaking to me that you were um, worthless or disgraced me or, you know, yell at me. Didn't feel loved. I believe that Gary was closest to his mom because he seemed uh, more dependent on wanting her approval or wanting to prove that he was, you know, uh, he was worthy of her attention. She was more of a sex object than a, than a mother. I had a fantasy of wanting to uh, have sex, to touch her, feel her body. But at the same time, you're angry at your mom. How did you think about her and your mom? Killing her? Maybe slice her up or something? It would be some way to defile what she's always loved, uh, uh, ruin her, her uh, beauty. Tell me when you first started having fantasies about hurting prostitutes. I'm saying right after the separation and divorce of Marcia. These young teenage girls have nothing to do with your ex-wife. Why kill them? They were my scapegoat. I focused every bit of my hurt towards killing the woman. Killing the woman was my releasing point. When I killed her, my hate for myself was gone for that day. 